Hello, my beautiful fragrance family. Dustin here, fragrance fan. Go ahead and do me a solid and click that like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell notification. And I'm just gonna keep on giving you guys these budget-friendly fragrance reviews. That 40-ish and dollar range, most of these are way less than that. And a good number of these you can find at your local rack stores. And just like the one I'm gonna be talking about today, I found at my local rack store. Um, I found it at TJ Maxx. It was marked down from $14.99 to $10. I figured, why not? What the heck? Roll the dice on it. See what it's talking about. If it stinks, I'm not out that much. And I can let you guys know regardless. So I justified being able to buy this thing. And I like the other fragrance that I have from them. I'm talking about Joseph Abood. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. Bespoke. $14.99 to $10 from TJ Maxx. And I like these kind of presentations. I like this so much better than... I just throw all my boxes away. Then having to dig in that thing, go through all the flaps, and you, you wrestle with the fragrance. I like this a lot better. It's got like felt in there and everything. So for 10 bucks, I mean, it seems like you're you're getting something. Hard cardboard. So I'll just read the notes off of this thing right off the box after I show you the bottle a little bit. This beautiful amber looking bottle, Joseph Abood Bespoke. And uh, it is grapefruit, mandarin, rosemary, nutmeg in the top, in the mid, rum, lavender, cedar, and rose, and in the base, leather, moss, tonka, vanilla bean. And atomizer cap is plastic. Little detailing on the top, if you can see that. Like a copper colored atomizer. I like the color scheme. I like the way it feels in the hand. I like the presentation. The atomizer is a good atomizer, so, you know, it's, a, it's an A. It's an A as far as that goes. So really what I get in this, it's, it's a super inexpensive fragrance. So you're not gonna expect it to be a very like natural smelling rosemary or mandarin or anything like that and that is not what you get at all. Really what this ends up being is a fragrance where you kind of get more of the nuances of everything than picking out the individual notes. Like I can't pick out mandarin and um, grapefruit even though I know it's in there. I do pick up on hints of the sharpness and the tartness of the grapefruit. I do pick up on a little bit of the spiciness and the sharpness from the rosemary, but I don't smell rosemary. I don't smell grapefruit. I The, the note that I pick up the most in this fragrance would be the tonka and the vanilla bean because it's sweet and powdery and dusty and a little bit earthy from that moss, but I still don't pick out exactly that i can tell it's sweet and it leans maybe on the vanilla side but i can't really tell that it's vanilla even though it's written in the notes if that makes any sense it's almost a synthetic mess but it's very very pleasing smelling it is a good smelling playful sweet dusty powdery fragrance that's good for the cooler weather that's good for the youth it's almost got a bubblegummy kind of a feel that little bit of earthiness i don't pick up on so much of the rum or the leather but i think what those two notes do in this is kind of propel it into being more of the masculine style sweet powdery fragrance than a, a feminine one it keeps it from being feminine it just kind of holds it up in that masculine side if that makes sense you don't pick up a booziness you don't pick up that new car or leather belt masculine kind of thing but i think like i said it keeps it from being feminine the one downside about this thing is it's a ten dollar fragrance so you can probably already guess it really really lacks in performance it just does not perform at all even if i dial the sprays up i get out of the shower i, I spray this thing on pretty good 8 10 12 sprays by the time i'm closing my eyes four hours later or so i can't even detect this thing it might be hanging around for like two hours after about 45 minutes it really reels back in and i can kind of smell it here and there but i really gotta try after that hour mark so it just doesn't perform this is a safe fragrance to buy as far as the scent profile, but it's just a performance. Now, some of you might have this thing um, last a long time on your skin. I'm not saying that everybody's gonna have a terrible um, experience in the performance of this thing. It's just me, and I would say probably 90% of you will agree that it just doesn't perform very well. Um, 
but it is one of those sweet, warm, cool weather fragrances. And if it lasted longer, I think it'd be good for a date night, but by the time you pick up your date, it's probably not even gonna be there anymore. It is definitely a decent idea for a gift for somebody young, maybe that doesn't know how to use fragrances very well, and you might be afraid that they're gonna overspray, but you want something that's youthful, that smells good, that's not gonna offend anybody, that if they do overspray, it's not gonna be uh, too terribly loud for too long, then you might wanna check this one out. So if, uh, you know, you, you're just curious on what this thing smells like and you want to see if it performs and buy it. But just beware from my experience, it doesn't last very long, but it is a nice smelling fragrance. So, I mean, overall the scent profile is like a six out of 10, but I can't go over a four out of 10 in my overall rating on this thing because it's so terrible in performance, but I can't say three and a half, that just doesn't feel right. So I'm pretty comfortable giving this an overall four out of 10. And that's solely because of the performance. It's a good smelling fragrance. I won't say that it's not. If it lasted a decent amount of time, this thing could easily sell for 30 or $35, easily. It just doesn't last long, so that's it. So I can justify the $10, even the 15 bucks that it's marked for, it's, that's not a bad buy. It really, it's really not, because it's nice smelling, but yeah, it's youthful, it's leisure, it's not serious. Sweet, powdery, earthy, dusty, bubblegummy, playful, easy fragrance and that's my final thoughts on joseph abood bespoke with that i'm out y'all be blessed take care of yourself always and until next time